Here I will give you a little about what is Roman. And how to configure it. What is Roman? Roman, Router Management Overlay Network, is a proprietary Microtic protocol, a protocol that is only supported on Microtic devices. Which can create a secure layer 2 connection to Microtic devices either via a physical connection Ethernet or layer 2 tunnel. And Roman has several features such as Discovery and management of Microtic devices via ping, secure shell, Winbox. Able to discover Roman enabled Microtic devices that have gone through multiple hops. And remember, not all Microtic have the Roman feature. So here I am using Microtic 6.28 and Winbox version which supports the Roman feature. If you are using Microtic 6.28, the configuration is slash Roman. If you use Microtic above 6.28, the configuration is slash tool Roman. Here I don't use a real device, I use a virtual device and the tools are as follows. Microtik, which supports the Roman feature. Graphical Network Simulator 3. Host, for remote. Let's go straight to how to configure it. Here I will try to remote from the host to R1, R2, R3 and we will see here that the host is not connected to R2 or R3, but is only connected to R1, and this is what is called the Roman function. First, I change the name of each router, so it's easy to remember. Second, I will go to the host, because we are only connected to R1, so first log into R1 via Winbox as usual. After we enter Winbox, now we go to Tools, Roman. We check Enabled. The ID is up to us here I use 00,00,00,00,00,00,10. Why 10? Because it's easier to remember, and 10 is a sign of having our 1, and fill in secrets equals fill it, secrets 2 it's up to us, the important thing is the same on all routers, then click apply ok. Now we move to R2, we configure R2 to activate Roman. Then we remove it, and we add the port interface with everything and add the secrets. Then we reboot the R2. Then let's look at the port, here you can see that the Roman port is disabled, and why is it disabled? Because the default Roman port is disabled when we restart it. Then we just need to enable the port. Now we discover. To see if our neighbors have activated their Roman. Well, here you can see that our one has activated Roman with the ID that we added earlier. Next, we move again to our 3, actually we have the same configuration as in our 2, ok, let's just go straight into the configuration. Now we activate Roman on our 3 by doing this. Then we remove it, and we add the interface port with all and add the secrets. After that we reboot the system. Then let's look at the port, here you can see that the Roman port is disabled, and why is it disabled? Because the default Roman port is disabled when we restart it, then we just have to enable the port. Now we discover, to see if our neighbors have activated their Roman. Here you can see that R1 and R2 have activated their Roman. Now we move again to the host, then here we click connect to Roman. Well, in neighbors R1 you can see R2 and R3. Now we try to connect to R2, see if the host succeeds in remoting R2. Here it turns out that the host has successfully connected to R2. Now we try to connect to R3. And apparently it connected successfully too. After everything is successfully connected, now we move again to R1 to ensure that R2 and R3 are successfully connected to each other, we go to Tools. Roman Discovery. And here you can see R2 and R3. And let's try pinging R2, reply or not, if reply means we succeeded. And now we try to ping R3. And all our experiments were successful. That's all the information I have. Thanks for watching.
If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Your support means a lot. Stay tuned for more exciting content. Until next time, take care.